Okay, moving to question number 5 now, let S T R be the non-zero complex numbers and L be the set of solutions z equals x plus iota y of the equation S z plus T z bar plus r equals 0 where z bar is conjugate of z then which of the following statements is r true four options are given. So, one equation is given S z plus T z bar plus r equals 0 and we have to talk about the solutions of this equation. So, starting with the same equation. given equation is S z plus T z bar plus r equals 0 correct S z plus T z bar plus r equals 0. Question is talking about L be the set of solutions of z for this equation. So, to solve it let us do one thing take conjugate of this equation. What we obtain on taking conjugate we get T bar z plus S bar z bar plus R bar equals 0. I have written this term as the first one so that we have z below z only. Solving these two equations we get z upon T R bar minus S bar R equals z bar divided by R T bar minus S R bar equals 1 upon mod S square minus mod T square. This is clear? Okay. From here we simply get Z is equal to T R bar minus S bar R divided by mod S square minus mod T square. This is clear, we obtain solution as this one. Now, look at the options part. Option A says, if L has exactly one element, then mod S should not be equal to mod T. If we look at solution obtained by us, in case mod s and mod t are equal, then denominator becomes 0. If mod s is not equal to mod t, meaning that we are getting unique solution for z, so this option A is correct. So, therefore, if mod s not equal to mod t, meaning that unique solution. So, option A is correct. Second, if mod s equals mod t, then L has infinitely many solutions. Let us check out that how many elements are there in L. If mod s is equal to mod t, we have two possibilities. One, t r bar minus s bar r not equal to 0. If this one is 0, other is not, meaning that no solution. If mod s is equal to mod t along with t r bar minus s bar r also 0, then we may have infinitely many solutions. This time we have infinitely many solutions. This is clear. So, option B is saying just about mod s and mod t, it is not talking about the term t r bar minus s bar r, meaning this is not correct. Because with this constraint, we have two possibilities, either no solution or infinitely many solutions. Option 4 is also talking about elements in L, that is if L has more than one element, then L has infinitely many solutions. Yes, this is correct. If L has more than one element, meaning mod s is equal to mod t along with 
tr bar minus s bar r equals 0 then we have infinitely many solutions for it then definitely l has infinitely many elements in that case so option d is correct option c the number of elements in l intersection another set given is at most 2 what is this term modulus of z minus 1 plus iota is equal to 5 what is it representing it is representing a circle a circle centered at 1 comma minus 1 and radius 5 now they are saying the number of elements in l how many elements are possible in l intersection this one possibility 1 if l has no solution then obviously no solution is there meaning no element is there in this intersection possibility 2 l has unique solution if l has unique solution then at most obviously one we are getting in case maximum possibility for this intersection can be at most 2 so at most two solutions are possible this is correct hence we observe here the correct answer for it comes out as option a option c and option d so this is clear now move to the next question that is question number 6 